on the abuse of power article, not the obstruction one? That's right. Uh, we got a call from Senator Romney's office yesterday saying that he wanted to do one interview to discuss his decision and the blowback that he knows that will flow from it. So we sat down with the senator about 11.30 this morning, and as you will see from the interview that we're about to show you, the conversation turned very serious very fast. Senator Romney, thanks for talking with us. Thank you, Chris. Good to be with you. You decided to vote to convict the president, but you knew that it wasn't going to pass. So I guess the direct question is, do you believe that Donald Trump is unfit to serve as president and should be removed from office? I believe that the act he took, an effort to corrupt an election, is as destructive uh, an attack on the oath of office and on our Constitution as I can imagine. It is a high crime and misdemeanor within the meaning of the Constitution, and that is not a decision I take lightly. It is the last decision I want to take. The personal consequences, the political consequences that fall on me as a result of that uh, are going to be extraordinary. But I swore an oath before God, and I'm a religious person, that I would apply impartial justice. And applying impartial justice said what the president did was grievously wrong. And I had to vote if I was going to live with my own conscience in a way that was consistent with that oath of office. Again, do you believe that Donald Trump is unfit to serve as president and should be removed from office? I do believe he should be removed from office. That's the vote that I will take in, in just a short while. I want to go through the two main arguments the White House defense team makes. Donald Trump was elected by six.